everything is changing. It's a new earth. What used to work no longer does, including how to work with spirit guides. So allow me to share with you how to work with your new spirit helpers on new earth in the step-by-step -step guide for contacting your guides in 2024. As humanity's awakening continues, there's new ascended masters, new extraterrestrial interdimensional guides that are working with us, heralding in this new earth and helping humanity through our collective quantum leap that is happening in 2024 and the subsequent awakening that's to follow. Some of our old guides are now stepping aside in favor of these new and higher energies. My guides, the, the master teachers, have given me some information in a step-by-step -step way of working with these new higher guides and higher energies in 2024 for our benefit. And that's what I'm going to jump into right now. Of course, there's still some overlap into the old methods of spirit communication, and that forms a very good foundation. So if you're not clear on that, I'll flash a video above to teach you how to do basic spirit communication and opening to spirit and opening to your guide. But it's on a higher frequency, so the techniques are changing to accommodate those higher frequencies. So anyway, let's jump in. Like any other spiritual practice, the first thing you do is you get very relaxed. Relax your shoulders, do a little long deep breathing, inhaling love, exhaling, releasing stress, fears, all of that. So you want to get very, very present in the now. And by doing that, you start to blend with higher energy. So it's really our, our, our thoughts and, and our personal mind and our worries about our day and our world that blocks us from spirit anyway. So you want to open your spirit in order to be able to connect with higher spirits. As Joe Dispenza would tell you, become a nobody, no body. So when I'm a nobody, when I'm completely present and completely open, then my frequency raises and I start to blend with the higher energies. So once you're there, the next step is open your heart. Feel grateful in that moment. Expand that energy of gratitude. When you feel grateful in your heart, you start to open your brain. You start to feel grateful in your brain also. Feel your heart energy, gratitude, appreciation, and love spreading through your body, opening your mind, spreading out into the ethers, opening up more to spirit. And the next step is to visualize a Merkaba around you, a star tetrahedron. So visualize that shape around you and then start to imagine or visualize that it starts to rotate. The bottom half of the Merkaba will rotate in one direction, the, the top hat will open in another. This is known as the light ascension vehicle and taps into sacred geometry and just how energy moves through the universe. So this is going to allow you to ascend past your physical and more into the spiritual realms. So once you do that, imagine that you're traveling with your Merkaba to one of the great pyramids. It can be either on this planet or, or on a different world and it, or a different dimension or different reality. And then as that's happening, as you go to your pyramid, imagine that in your Merkaba that you settle inside of the pyramid, that you're within this pyramid and you can feel the energy. Pyramids are, are huge energetic magnifiers. It's going to help you to raise your frequency to be able to connect more with these higher le level beings. So once you're there, um, set your intention that you, you want to work with your higher guides now. So you set your intention, you feel your heart open and expanding. Again, heart-brain coherence. Feel gratitude, appreciation, love, compassion, and feel that energy and feel your body. Feel the space in the pyramid. Feel your Merkaba. Feel the space around the pyramid with your heart. And just don't think, you know, just be present and, and do that. And then the next step is imagine that a door opens and then a guide or, or more than one guide steps in. When that happens, look at the guide's feet first. So visualize the feet and then look up and see what the guide looks like to you in, in your mind, in your mind's eye. But more importantly, what does their energy feel like? So gauge your feelings as this guide steps in and steps closer to you. Be aware of how you feel. Again, stay present. So you don't want to be thinking. You want to be setting these intentions with open heart and gratitude and the intentions of the mind and then the feelings of the heart. That's how you blend with these higher spiritual energies, you see. So feel that. And then as that's happening, 
allow the guide to either touch you or, or to affect your energy or to tap you so feel that. You can ask who they are, what they're here for, but the next step is ask for messages. Uh, you can ask who they are again and then what do they what do they want to tell you and trust everything that comes. The thing is, don't think, it, even if it feels like you're making it up, when you set the intention, get information, you may get symbols, you may feel things in your body, you may remember things, you may get words, you may have your own ways you get information from your spirit, from your higher spirit, but you're in this pyramid. This is the meeting place, the interdimensional meeting place for these higher guides. This is the doorway for them to access you and for you to access them. So get the information, stay here as long as you want, and then when you're done, Another guy may come in, there may be more than one. Angels may come in, animal guides, extraterrestrial beings, interdimensional beings, ascended masters. But when you're done, then in your Merkaba, start to set the intention that you're going to come back to your physical body. So feel your Merkaba spinning again. You, you just sort of, again, re-blend with your physical body as you start to unblend, we'll say, with, with the, the pyramid that you're in. So you come back into this dimension, into your body, deep in your breath, ground and center, open your eyes and then go right to your journal and write down any information that came through. This is going to take practice. So if it doesn't happen the first time, keep doing it. You'll get better and better with it. And this is the way. This is the, the way to open the doorway to higher intelligences to help you in your quantum shift and this level of awakening. So this is the most important part. And uh, well, do, do this daily. And if you're enjoying this video, please like it and share it. And if you'd like to join this community and get more information like this, feel free to subscribe to our channel. And we also have a Patreon group called Spirit Mind Family where we dive deeper with exclusive content and channelings not found here. So the most important thing is that over time, well, let me put it this way. What I'm presenting with you is a template of how to work with these higher level guides. So what you want to do is you want to follow this exactly as I'm laying it out and keep practicing it. But also, as you get better at it, Spirit's going to modify these steps for you based upon your own individuality, your own energy, which guides are coming through. So be open to that. And you know, again, it's a blueprint and this is all conceptual. So once you understand the concept and you're meeting with these guides, they're going to fine tune this for you to give you your own techniques based on these techniques that are going to be the most efficient for you so you can continue to ascend and continue on your awakening journey. Learning some basic technique of how to blend with spirit, work with spirit, and work with your guides is very important in order for this to work. So what I have for you is a free 30-minute class on the basics on how to work with spirit and, and work with your guides and work with your extraterrestrial guide that we will flash right here. If you are serious about your ascension and making a difference in your life and in the world around you, check out this video. It's going to make this one work better for you. I love you and I'll see you at the next video. Namaste.